this is gonna be a pool maintenance video and this one might be a little longer than my last one or maybe shorter i don't know and i'm gonna take you all the steps how i mean maintain this whole pool first we're gonna vacuum the pool there's dirt on the bottom I'm going to use the vacuum here. It's a Pentair Rainbow vacuum head. Here's some of the dirt. And that's the pool from the, the monitor. Here's more dirt. And after all the vacuuming, I'll be checking the chlorine um, feeder because it needs more chlorine. Then I'll be checking the temperature. We'll be connecting this hose to here. And I did put that hose on there to, <clears throat> to, to actually um, to save, um, not really to like to, to make it less um, longer and make it less to just um because i don't want to put it on i don't know so i'm gonna fill up the pool hoover pool vacuum oh actually so i have this running so apparently i want to do the old other way and i know in the united kingdom they call this the pool hoover All the air out. Now let's go to the pump and filter. And let's go to take this um, screen off and put the other one on. I love keep, I like to keep the screen clean too. So that's. Oh. A little bit of air in there. The pool definitely needs some vacuuming done. Let me go turn on my light onto here. Actually, no, because I have my flashlight on, so I will actually make a quick video of that too on at night so i'll add it in here too so in the, if i see how it glows so i will do that on the last before i'm done everything apparently um, i was i never made this i never did this earlier in the day i was busy doing stuff so that's why I want to do it towards the night, and I think it's good. I always, always do the pool towards the night. I check the chemicals, and I did a video how to shock the pool. If you want to see that video, links in the description for that video. The pool is very dirty right now. A lot of dirt and sediment into the pool. And I just mow I just mowed the lawn today. So some of the grass I blew I just blew all the grass clippings, so some of it went inside of the pool. 
and it's so there's a lot of dirt in here too and I don't have a light for this pool the only light source I do have and I think I might go in it after all this because I do want to go night swimming in here because I want to try out my new fountain and I don't want to do going in now because I don't know there's not that much chlorine. I just see the chlorine in here and all that. So, all this, a lot of stuff going on here. It's going to be clean. A lot of talking in here, so when i like to make videos like this i like to make sure i tell you all you guys how all this works out how all this works and also teach you some new things about pools about these type of pools too if you're if you're going to have me an owner for a pool like this i do recommend getting all these things i have i have a sam filter here it really works really well and I also need to clean that basket out too, so that'll be on video too. So it's everything in one. So it's like a little how-to video, but it's full maintenance. You can see how I'll hook all this up. If you're very interesting, I'm um, seeing m all my videos. So <clears throat> I have a. I, I'm all gonna make a playlist soon. So. It's clean. Next, I'll disconnect everything. And cream, it's really hard to take all this off. So, like the suction's amazing on this new sand filter I have. I take all this out. I lay it like this so that means anything onto the brushes. Don't. And I don't need to backwash my sand filter. I do have a YouTube video how to backwash a sand filter. So I will unplug this pump and I will check the chlorine. So I might have to put my phone with my camera down. I'm gonna put right here. Then let's go open up the chlorinator. And the chlorinator is a little bit of dirt right here. I'm gonna have to put my camera down for this. So this, okay, I need some shock, no tablets, not shock, tablets, no tablets in there, so I need some tablets in there, and I'll get some tablets from the tablet bucket. And I'll get the tablet bucket from up here. So I always put one chlorine tab in here because that's how my pool can handle chlorine tab. Just only one. So I have a tablet bucket in here. That's why I was not producing that much chlorine. And I do is I drop one in here like this, nice and slow and steady. And then I'll put to clean all this off into the pool. And I put the tablet bucket in the back. Close the lid, so uh, right there. Did I actually lock all this to close all this up? 
the, it's now dissolving right now because close that up. That's on there real tight. Then I need to clean what's in here. So I do is I have a a plunger valve here. I'll close this. So when I close this valve, the suction really gets um, the pressure is really good, so it wouldn't on. Um, so what I do is I open this up like this. I also need two hands for it. And I'll close this valve. Then I'll unloosen. A little bit of dirt in there, but not as much. So I probably need some cleaning done. So it wasn't really recircling any, it was only recircling fresh water. much dirt in here and leaves and I'll put this in the pump basket or lid so I'm gonna go put this cord down here It's clean enough, it's clean enough. And there's a little sediment down there. Sometimes I like to clean the sediment a little. And I like to open up. So. Sometimes I like to do that, get any excess dirt off the bottom of this basket. It gets any grass too, because sometimes grass will clog this up. Sometimes it's pretty much hard to do. And it will clean it up too. So I will put everything when it reaches down here. I can go like this. And I'll put this on. A little bit of grass, but some. Then I'll put this cover on, no, this um, basket, then I'll put the cover on. Then I'll open this up. Some water is coming right up. No leaks. And I'll open this up a little bit. So that's on your tight. Then I'll plug the pump in. Make sure that's okay. This one is a, oh, this one is, so it's, the, okay, it's locked on there. On, open, I'll turn it on. Wait till it catches dry. Catching dry right now. All the air is coming out. Catching dry. That might be from this. Then I'll definitely set this on a uh, little bit like this. So it's producing some chlorine. Definitely check pressure. Check the pressure. Pressure is okay. Pressure is good. So. I'll make a separate video for it. 
and that's the pool is really clean and that comes all nice and clean cool this is be pool maintenance video that's gonna be it